In Jesus' name we pray. Let us pray. Father, we thank you very much for this revival time. Lord, we're praying that you revive every soul, every heart, everyone here tonight. In Jesus' name. We pray, Lord, that all the weapons of our warfare that you have granted unto us, every one of us will be able to use effectively in Jesus' name. That no minister here, no one hearing the sound of my voice tonight will ever be defeated by the devil in Jesus' name. Lord, tonight, develop our faith. Give us a shield of faith. That with that shield of faith, we'll be able to quench all the fiery darts of the evil one in Jesus' name. Where anybody here has been defeated and is lying down, I command them, rise up in Jesus' name. Anyone in any cage of the devil. That the devil has said your life is finished. Your ministry is finished. Or your family is finished. Or the work of your heart is finished. I cancel all the pronouncement of the devil in Jesus name. Lord here tonight. Make impossibilities possible. Bring down every Jericho wall before your people tonight in Jesus name every form of sorrow shame suffering, affliction anything hindering your people poverty I cancel it tonight in Jesus name I pray Lord tonight the key to open the door of success in ministry Give to every minister here. Give to every minister here. Give to every, every minister here. Where there will be failure in the past, let there be success in Jesus' name. That person there in hall three, you are thinking of giving up the ministry. And you feel that there is no way. The Lord has set an open door before you. Go through this open door you will succeed. That same place where you are timid and fearful and shaking and they want to run you off the ministry, go back there. Go back there. Go and succeed. Go and build the church. And you will go from victory to victory in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray for everyone here tonight that you will rise up in the arms of faith. And everything that made you afraid, worried, anxious, timid in the past, everything has come well before you tonight in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, because I know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Ephesians chapter 6, I'm reading verse 16. Above all, taking the shield of faith. Wherewith you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Notice those two words, above all. The apostle had been talking about the pieces of armor, the weapon of the Christian soldier, of the Christian warrior, and a thing that equips us, makes us ready for success and victory. The four three pieces of armor, the girdle, the breastplate, the shoes, those ones were worn every time. They were never taken off when you're on the battlefield. But the last three, the shield, the helmet, the sword, those ones, you keep them in readiness for use when the actual fighting begins. And I told you already, you're fighting the devil. And you have won already. I see victory on your faces. I see success before you. I see prosperity before you. And where you have been thinking you will not make it, I'm telling you, the Lord tells me to tell you, you will make it in Jesus' name. Without the shield, the Roman soldier 
was vulnerable and insecure. You know, Ahab, he went to battle against the Assyrians. He wore the armor on his body. But as the battle was raging, an arrow was shot. He didn't have a shield to defect that thing, to quench that arrow, to destroy, break that arrow. And then the arrow struck him at an opening of the joints in Ahab's armor. Pierced his side, he bled to death. You will not die. He had the armor on, but he had no shield. So that arrow went in between the two pieces of armor and killed him. Nobody will kill you. No witch will kill you. No matter where they made their confederacy and conspiracy, they will not touch your life in Jesus' name. But you know, without the shield, which is wielded by the soldier, and can be moved around in every direction to deflect every attack without it that soldier will be exposed to serious danger that's why each christian warrior each christian minister needs the thing we're talking about tonight the shield of faith otherwise all the other pieces of armor will fail to protect us from moral and mortal danger we are protected. Three points in the message number one. The protection with protection. With the shield of faith. Protection. With the shield of faith. Number two. Perils without the shield of faith. Number three. The potentials of the shield of faith. One by one. One, two, three. Number one. Protection with the shield of faith look at it in ephesians chapter 6 verse 16 above all and that means you've got this armor on you've got this piece of armor on you've got this other piece of armor on above all how important it is then my brothers here fellow ministers to develop our faith above all taking a shield of faith wherewith ye shall be able to quench, deflect, destroy all the fiery darts, the flaming missiles of the wicked one, of the devil. You see, the Roman soldiers, you know what they did? They carried and used shields to protect themselves from the barrage of enemy arrows and spears. They used several kinds of shields, actually. And there was a small shield that was round, about two feet in diameter. And, and that made them to be secured because they, they will put their arms inside the leather straps. And when they see the enemy throwing any arrow at them, all they will do is to shield themselves with that. And then the arrow will strike the shield. And then it's gone, either broken or deflected. That was a larger sh shield. And that one had two and a half feet width. And four and a half feet length. That was designed to cover, protect the entire body of the soldier. The shield was made of solid piece of wood. Covered with any metal like silver, gold, iron, whatever. Or heavy oiled leather the teams of the arrows in those days will be wrapped with pieces of clothes they will dip it and soak it in pitch just before they throw the arrow shot the arrow what they will do is to lighten that is put fire on the rag on the clothes that they are dipped in pitch at the head the pointed head of the arrow and then that flaming missile, that's why I call it fiery darts. Flaming, having fire. When it strikes the enemy soldier, the enemy troops, it will first of all tear the flesh, then burn the flesh, will inflict serious burns on the enemy soldiers. And they tell us in history 
that apart from even that, the thieves of those arrows will be poisoned. That when it struck a man in the enemy camp, apart from the beating, apart from the tearing of the flesh, there will be poison to you. That if the arrow did not kill the man, the poison will be working in the body to kill. That's why the soldiers were at the shield. They knew it was very, very important. That's the reason you need a shield. You will get the shield. The shield of faith. You know what it says? It says that shield of faith will so protect you. It will quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. All. Everything. Tonight you are free from every evil thing. Every attack, every evil thing tonight in your life will, will not live here until they are gone. Every sickness, every infirmity, every timidity will, will not live here until they are gone. Every arrow, every dart, and every spear the devil has thrown at you will, will not live here tonight until they are gone. And it doesn't take one hour, it doesn't take five hours when you mention the name of Jesus. It may be one minute or five minutes when you stand and mention that name there is no power against that name there is no witch that can fight against that name there is no satan there is no demon that can receive the power in that name that's why i tell you tonight with that shade of faith we're going to quench all the fiery darts in your ministry in your family in your life in jesus name come on with me to some night one some night one when looking at verse 3, it says, Surely he shall cover thee, he will cover you, from the snare of the fowler, and from the noisome pestilence, he shall cover thee with his feathers, under his wings thou shalt trust, his truth shall be thy, thy what? Tell me out loud, thy shield and buckler, thou shalt not be afraid, say it, I will not be afraid. I said, say it, I will not be afraid. Uh, you know, you know, uh, there are people that uh, they, they go to a particular area, they go to a particular place, and they hear stories, you know, in this place, the pastor that they sent you before they sent you, that man, he was high when he came, before he left, everything he had, every gift he had, every power he had, everything was taken from him. In fact, he's a backslider now. The other one that came before, they tell you story, 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 story. And then when they tell you all those stories, you are afraid. You will not be afraid. Because it says, thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flies by day. Not for the pestilence that wasteth at noonday, ah, in that place. Not for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. Wonderful. Look at verse 7. A thousand will fall by your side. You will still keep on standing. While thousands and thousands and thousands are falling, they fall into sin. They fall into sickness, they fall into attack, they fall into affliction, they fall into poverty, they fall into ruined ministry. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come near you. Yeah. Only with your eyes will you see and behold the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast said, thou hast made the Lord which is my refuge, even the most high, thy habitation, there shall no evil before you. There shall no evil before your wife. There shall no evil before your children. There shall no evil before your church. There will be no evil that will before your ministry. There shall no evil before thee. Neither shall any plague come near thy dwelling. Uh -uh. Why is it? Ministers, preachers, they are the most sick, stressed, depressed people on earth. We reject that tonight. Yeah. That thing that makes us so vulnerable, that any little attack that comes, it gets to us first. Any sickness that comes, comes to our wives first. Any failure that comes, comes to our children first. 
Any trouble, anything happening it, huh? Any bad thing, the devil, you know, visits us first and distributes our own and say, you are tearing down my kingdom before I give the other people, get your own. You devil, you are a liar. Yeah. Tonight, tonight, we reject it in Jesus' name. Yeah. There shall no evil before thee. Claim it every day. Wake up in the morning. This is the day the Lord has made. I'm going right into the world today. And I'm going to tear down the kingdom of the devil. And I proclaim and I declare for the angels to hear. And for Satan to hear. And for everybody to hear. There shall be no evil before me. Neither shall any plague come near my dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee. You know what that is? Bodyguard. Angels. All around you. To keep you in all your ways. They will bear you up. Are you not special? Are you not an ambassador of Christ? Ambassador? Don't you know those Americans take care of the ambassadors in every country? Do you, know, do you think that America will do more for their ambassadors than Almighty God will do for his own ambassador? You're an ambassador of God. You're an ambassador of God. And the bodyguard of heaven is around you. And it says the angels will bear you in their hand lest thou dash thy foot against a stone thou shalt tread upon the lion and the adder the young lion and the dragon shall thou trample under thy feet because thou was set that he has set his love upon me therefore when I de deliver him he will deliver you I will set him on high. How many of you will get on high? Head, not tail. You will lend, you will not borrow. You will succeed, you will not fail. You will be promoted, you will not be demoted. I will set him on high. Because he has known my name. He shall call upon me. Will God answer your prayer? I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him. I will honor him with what kind of life? I said with what kind of life? You know, you know, there are people that you are just in your thirties, you are just in your forties, you are just in your fifties, and already you are talking about death. You cannot die now. God will not allow you to die now. The church will not allow you to die now. Your fellow ministers, if they join together in faith, even if you want to die, we will not allow you to die now. With long life, will I satisfy him and show him my salvation? Point number two. The perils without the shield of faith. Perils without the shield of faith. In Ephesians chapter 6, Ephesians chapter 6 and looking at it again in verse 16 Ephesians 6 16 above all taking the shield of faith wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked now you can see there if there is no shield it means the arrows will be coming the arrows will be coming. And there will be nothing to deflect, to break, to quench. All those flaming missiles. Fiery darts of the evil one. A person like that will be in serious spiritual danger. When Satan is constantly throwing flaming missiles, fiery darts at him, and yet there is no shield. Wicked enemies in these last days, Soaking their darts and their arrows in poison, throwing at you, and then there's no shield. What kind? Uh, great, great danger that will be. When it says, Look at that, look at that now, in verse 16 again, above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery. What's the next word? Is that singular or plural? 
plural. Darts of the wicked one. What does that mean? Number one, the darts of doubt. And then that's what, you know, he does with people. It makes people to doubt, to doubt the promises of God. No weapon that is fashioned against you shall prosper. He makes people to doubt that. I will be with you. When you pass through the waters, it will not be drowned. When you pass through the fire, it will not be burned. It makes people to doubt, to doubt that. And when the Lord says, let your conversation be without covetousness. Because he has said, I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. He breaks in the dutch of doubt. When it says, he will supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. He makes people to doubt that. When it says unto him, that he is able to do exceedingly above, abundantly above, what we ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. He makes people to doubt that. Number one, the doubt of doubt. Number two, the doubt of deception. Of deception. Because you see, this devil satan he transforms himself into an angel of light just to deceive and he'll be minimizing the consequence of running away from ministry he'll make you to forget jonah that run away from ministry he'll deceive you that hey, you can leave the ministry you can leave the preaching and you can go into this kind of business and you will not have any trouble at all deception deception and then when you leave the ministry like that, under the deception of Jonah, you get into more trouble than you ever saw in your life. The dart of, of deception. Number three, the dart of discouragement. Discouragement. Uh, the, the road is too long. The journey is too demanding. And the church, you know, there are some immature people in the church, some sinners in the church, some backsliders in the church, and you know, but there are many, many good people in the church, and the devil will not allow you to see the good people in the church. Only the few ones, few ones, will make you to see the five out of the five hundred that are making trouble. And then discouragement will come. The dart of discouragement. Number four, the dart of disease. He throws diseases and you better have the shield of faith the shield of faith because without the shield of faith it throws the dart of doubt while you're still struggling with that it throws the dart of deception while you're still struggling with that and deception it throws the dart of discouragement while you're still struggling with that then the dart of disease will come and now you are down and now you are like elijah praying oh lord this is too much for me Kill me, let me die. Because Jezebel is after me. You know, it's like he didn't believe again in the promises of the Lord. Number five, the dart of distress or depression. Distress or depression. You lose appetite. You lose interest. Even to say hello to people, you lose interest in that. Your, your, your social interaction with people is affected. You are down look warm and nothing interests you preaching you, you, you force yourself doing the preaching and the counseling you are depressed you are distressed it's like you know and the devil comes with barrage of arrows darts number six the dart of denial fear of man will take over in your life then you begin to deny the cardinal things you believed before and then somebody comes to you like they came to Peter. You know this man, me, I never knew him. Seven, the dart of death, premature death. In fact, you just give up. Even with your own mouth, you'll be confessing death. With your own mouth, you'll be confessing, well, I don't know who's going to be the next, so will die next. And one member dies there. And then you say, well, I thought so. I said so, you members of the church. These are difficult days and, you know, it's happening everywhere. And you better get ready for heaven. After all, somebody will die one day. And you'll not talk about life. You'll not talk about hope. You'll not talk about faith. You'll not talk about the promises of God. Death, death, death. Will be in your language. Will be in your mind. Will be in your thoughts. Will be in your, in your disposition. Will be in your vision. In your dream. Death, death, death. Dutch of death. That's why it says... You put on this new armor, piece of armor. You take the shield of faith. 
wherewith you'll be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one and all the darts of doubt, of deception, of discouragement, of disease, of distress, depression, denial, premature death. We're going to conquer everything tonight. You know, Satan continually bombards God's children with temptation, temptation to pride or to envy or to anger or to hatred or to fear or to doubt or to despair or distress or covetousness or immorality or secret sin, besetting sin without the shield of faith to extinguish all those flaming missiles coming from the devil. Victory can be lost. In fact, our ministry can be rich and we can be defeated and then the devil can bring up to open shame for the world to see. But we will not come to shame. I said we will not come to shame. Point number three. The potentials. The potentials of the shield of faith. Brothers tonight, fellow ministers tonight, if you know what faith can do and accomplish in our lives, you will understand why the apostle Paul, inspired by the Spirit of God, says that above all, you take the shield of faith, wherewith you will be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one. Does the Bible say that this shield of faith will be able to quench most, most of Satan's fairy darts? No. Does the Bible say that this shield of faith will be able to quench all the fairy darts except the ones fired by a strong demon? Except the one fired at you by a terrible witch? All, all without exception. That's why I believe tonight the devil is in trouble. Because the shield of faith we have here tonight will quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, all the flaming missiles of the evil one, all the poison arrows of the devil, all the sharp attacks of demons, all the fiery temptations of Satan. I want you to look at, at your life right now. I want you to take inventory. And in your mind, think about home. What problem do you have in the church at home? And any time that problem comes, you're depressed. It's like, I am dead, only I'm not buried yet. It's like, I am finished. It's like, why don't I have the boldness to go and tell our overseer that I cannot continue? I don't want to be miserable with ministry. Release me. Let me go and do something else. Think about those problems tonight. Weighing upon your mind. Depressing you. Wanting to destroy you and destroy your ministry. And you're saying, I don't know what I will do. We know what you will do. You just take the shield of faith. And when you get out of that gate on Saturday, and that devil comes again. And that witch comes again. First of all, you stand like a soldier. Square your shoulder. Look at that witch straight in the eye. In your heart. Cut the promise of God. And lift up the shield of faith. Stand there. Let them throw anything and let them see that they fail. Tonight, your victory has come. All the darts of the devil, anything, anything, anything the devil has done, poverty, death, disease, discouragement, temptation, sin, somebody just falling, falling, falling from tonight, that thing is cancelled. <laughs> Jesus said unto him, If thou canst believe all things, everybody say all things. All things are possible to him that believeth. From tonight, nobody here is quitting the ministry. Nobody here is running away from responsibility. 
From tonight, there is no coward here. From tonight, there is no coward here. The devil will not conquer you. Disease will not conquer you. Evil speech will not conquer you. Witches will not conquer you. From tonight, the very deaths of the wicked, they are all quenched and destroyed in your life, in your family, in your ministry, in Jesus' name. And behold, I give unto you power to try the serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Stand up in your victory. You are victorious. You are victorious. You are victorious. You are victorious. Nobody will conquer you. No witch will conquer you. No evil power will conquer you. Even poverty cannot conquer you. No discouragement will conquer you. All the fiery darts of the wicked you are going to overcome. You are more than a conqueror. You are more than a conqueror. You are more than a conqueror. Through him that loved you. You have overcome. You have overcome. You have overcome. All those darts, all those darts, all those darts of the wicked one, punch them. Quench them, break them, destroy them. You are more than a conqueror. No power will bring you down. The Lord has promoted you. The Lord has promoted you. The Lord has set you on high. No power will bring you down. No power will bring you down. No power will bring you down. You have been promoted. You have been promoted. You have been promoted. You are set up on high. You are set up on high. The Lord has answered your prayer. The Lord has answered your prayer. The Lord has answered your prayer. Nobody, 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 nobody anywhere will bring you down. More than a conqueror. More than a conqueror. More than a conqueror, that's who you are. That's who you are. That's who you are. More than a conqueror. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Fellow ministers, look at yourself now. Any dart, any arrow, any sickness, any disease, any discouragement, any problem, any sin the devil has been trying to use against you, against your family, against your ministry, tonight they're extinguished. After the prayer tonight, you walk like a Christian soldier. You think like a Christian soldier. You talk like a Christian soldier. And you go back to that same place you came from. Where some people will not allow you to rest. Affliction. Attack. Disease. Sickness every time. You go back to that same place. And every power of the enemy will be under your feet in Jesus name. Tonight. You are not just get, get, getting miracle for yourself. Miracle for yourself. Miracle for your family. 
Miracle for your ministry. Miracle for your church. Miracle for everything the Lord has appointed you to do. Raise up your hand for your miracle. Raise up your hand for your miracle. You will quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Yesterday is gone. The past is gone. No more defeat. From this very hour, victory upon victory upon victory. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come because we know that you will never fail. You will never disappoint the faith of your people. You have given us the key of the kingdom. Whatever we bind on us is mud in heaven. Whatever we lose on us is loose in heaven. Lord, I pray for every brother here, every minister here, all the darts of the wicked one that he has thrown at them until this time. And discouragement has come and depression has come and distress has come. Lord, we cancel everything in Jesus' name. That discouragement that wants this my fellow minister to drop the ministry, run away, hide somewhere where nobody will come to tell you to counsel me or to, or to speak to me or to pray to me. That discouragement, I command you discouragement, get out in Jesus' name. Every body, every stress, or strain, oppression, attack on your life, on your spirit, on your body, on your family, that the devil is trying to use to destroy you and to destroy your ministry. I come against us here tonight. Be removed in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray, these anointed servants of God, not by power, not by might, not because they are more intelligent than other people, but because you chose them. You knew them. And you chose and appointed them. And you put them into the ministry. There is something coming from Satan. Coming from the demons. Coming from agents of Satan. Wanting to stop them. Lord, we lift up the banner of victory for them. Be victorious in Jesus' name. All the conspiracy of agents of Satan wanting to stop your ministry, wanting to destroy your life, wanting to scatter your family, I command right now, be destroyed in Jesus' name. This minister here in Hall 4, your wife has gone away. The sorrow in your heart. And even though you are still ministering, every time the pressure, the pressure is too much on you. Woman, wherever you are now, I'm asking the Holy Ghost to follow you where you are and bring you back. Lord, I pray on the authority of your word by the anointing of the Holy Ghost, that that woman, the wife, will come back to this minister. Next time when we have minister's conference, we'll have a testimony. Reunite them in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray, every minister here, anywhere there is sickness or disease in their body right now, that sickness is not for you, my brother. Yeah. Asthma is not for you, my brother. Yeah. That diabetes, I command you, come out in Jesus' name. Yeah. See, see, see this minister, that sleeplessness there, I cancel that thing right now. Be removed in Jesus' name. Yeah. I try to use on this person over here to even stand and preach as long as you ought to and when you sit down to stand up conveniently it is very hard and very tough 
I command these atrocities come out in Jesus' name. This I blood pressure over there, I command you right now. I blood pressure on this man of God. I command you come out in Jesus' name. Ah, will you believe this person there in hall six with HIV? And God has told us that if we ask anything in the name of the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, He will give it unto us. And this person here in, yes, that's all three there, the AIDS, HIV, I command right now. HIV, AIDS, come out in Jesus' name. Hey, this is my brother here that has a sore in your body and a sore has refused to be healed for so long a time i command that sore right now be healed in jesus name <laughs> hey, the, the thing that is near insanity epilepsy mental problem over there i command that spirit of insanity and that spirit of epilepsy and that thing that wants to turn you mad i command that spirit come out in jesus name <laughs> oh lord i pray that every attack, every affliction, every arrow of the devil against any of the people of God here tonight, we cancel everything in Jesus' name. <laughs> whatever, whatever good thing they are asking for themselves, for their families, for their ministries, for their local churches, Lord, I pray tonight, do it for them in Jesus' name. I pray, Lord, as they leave this place and they confront anyone, anywhere, victory will be definite for them. <laughs> Every minister here, they will go from defeat to victory in Jesus' name. They will be more than conquerors. Sickness will not defeat them again. Sin will not defeat them again afflictions of devil will not defeat them again and where their ministry where you have sent them i pray lord a thousand shall fall by one side ten thousand by the other side only with their eyes will they see and behold the word of the wicked it shall not come near them preserve your people and when on the final day the trumpet shall sound and the saints shall go marching in all these your servants your ministers will go together yeah. marching together in jesus name yeah. confirm the miracle on every life every minister here tonight in jesus name yeah. thank you lord because i know you have answered in jesus mighty name we pray In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we are the victory. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we have to flee. Hallelujah. Tell me. When we pray in the name, in the name, in the name, we have the victory in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we have the victory, victory in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. When we pray in the name of Jesus. Tell me who has the power to oppose. In the name of mighty Jesus. We have the victory. We have the victory. In the name of Jesus, we have the victory, victory. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. 
Yes, hallelujah, when we pray in the name of Jesus. Tell me who has the power to oppose in the name of mighty Jesus. We have the victory. Amen. You have the victory already. You are up. You'll never come down. Keep on enjoying your victory. God bless you.